Former Assemblywoman and Clark County Commissioner Chris June Kiliani will wrap up nearly 30 years in public life when her term ends in early January. Thanks for staying with us at 6:30. I'm Christiane Klein. And I'm Brian Loftus. That doesn't mean the popular liberal lawmaker will be leaving politics, though, entirely. Politics Now co-host Steve Sibelius sat down with June Kiliani today to find out. What comes next? Hey, Steve. Well, Brian and Christian, nobody expected Christian Kiliani to just fade away. She's one of Nevada's most prominent progressive politicians and remains very popular with the Democratic base. And while that wasn't enough to propel her to win this year's gubernatorial primary, it does give her credibility. Now she wants to use that credibility, not to mention all her legislative experience, to teach a new generation of progressives the art of politics. This is going to okay. be for scholarships and, and internships for students. Right. And then I'm going to form an institute or a center of actual leadership, civics, and campaign training, as well as not just for running for office, but running the campaigns. So we don't grow our own here all the way around. We import people from all over the, the United sure. States. There's a come from every June Kiliani says her training would be aimed at getting progressives involved to deal with issues from social justice reform to immigration, water, and the environment. She could draw lessons from her own career, such as her early efforts to get medical marijuana legalized after voters put it into the state constitution, or her push for full-day kindergarten instruction in Nevada schools. But perhaps counterintuitively for a progressive Democrat, June Kiliani says one of her most important lessons is about working with the other side. It is still all about the relationships that you build with individuals. I mean, um, and it shouldn't be just, I mean, I'm a strong Democrat, but that doesn't take away the value of the other person's passion or caring as well. So I, what I would like to teach progressives is it's okay to work with other people. Hmm. Uh, that's the message I would like to convince. You can never, you don't sell your soul for working out with somebody. If you can't get the whole, you know, kit and caboodle, then you start. You start. You, you never change anything legislatively if you don't start the conversation and you don't start someplace. And it, you have to do that by being more inclusive rather than exclusive. Other advice June Kiliani offered, work hard, do your homework, talk to as many people as possible so no one feels left out, and resist the flattery that lobbyists and fair weather friends throw your way when you first get to elected office. No matter what, she says, always vote your conscience. Well, there's a lot more to my interview with June Kiliani, including the reasons she never endorsed fellow Clark County Commissioner Steve Sisolak in the race for governor after their bitter primary. That's Politics Now, 4.30 p.m. Saturday, right here on 8 News Now. Brian? Steve, thank you.